Hey, thanks for being a part of the conversation. This is Forest Stories. I am the poet in the forest, a children's series that I pinned out in the 1990s. Now, none of it would be possible if it wasn't for this forest right here in South Charlotte, North Carolina. I talk about it so much that I thought maybe it's time that you get to know what has inspired me for 30 years. Thanks for being a part of the conversation. Welcome back to the forest. I just wrapped up a lengthy walk through all of the trees with its multiple colors of fall. I take a transition walk because things from this forest move through me. I've allowed that to be my peace-filled walk, my intention to allow this forest in South Charlotte, North Carolina to have a voice. In fact, while on this transition walk, it occurred to me, as the leaves were falling from the trees onto the ground, I reminded myself that so many of us think of that as being a negative. When in fact it's not a negative, especially when SpaceX today sent up their second biggest rocket of all time. And although it did get off its path and they had to destroy it, nobody at SpaceX saw that as a failure. They said that, hey, look, we're going to take the, the data and we're going to create a better ship. But that's what I love about this forest is that as you're walking through it, allowing the rays of the sun to speak directly into your mind, body and soul, you receive things such as quit looking at your life as being a failure. Look at it as being collecting information to make yourself stronger and better than before. Upon my arrival home, I'm sitting on the porch overlooking the front part of the forest. This is the very area that for nearly three years, my wife and I sat out here almost every single day, sharing breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and playing endless games on Zoom with people around the world. The time period I'm talking about is during the COVID-19 lockdown. This was our place of escape. We couldn't run about the world, but in this forest, the world spoke to us. So sitting at this table after a transition walk, I'm reminded of those moments where my wife and I saw the world falling apart, but we never reacted in a way that it was falling apart. We created an atmosphere of peace, and it's due 100% to this beautiful forest. Sitting at this table is just as important as any other story on Forest Stories. And the reason why is because we allow these trees to have a voice. In fact, I spoke about that in my daily writing today. Do trees come with words? I searched high and low for an answer on that on Google. Couldn't find anything. But instead of looking at myself as being a failure, falling from the tree to the ground below... I took a different kind of growth, and that was the words that I placed on a page came from a giving tree. So when I said that words come from trees, I fell witness to it on the page before me. It all grows from this beautiful forest. Hey, thanks for being a part of the conversation.